Hello everyone. Through this video, we'll see one of the most important concept of exception handling in Java, which is your custom exception or how the user can define its own exception. Okay. So this custom exception is also known as user defined exception. Yeah. So first of all, why custom exception is required? It is used to create your own exception. Okay. Till now, whatever you have written the program. Either you have generated arithmetic exception, or you have generated null pointer exception, or you have generated array index out of bound exception. Okay, so all those are predefined exception. Now, how to define the exception by the user's choice, which is known as also user defined exceptions. Why this is required? So this is required to customize the exception according to the user's requirement. Okay, so for example, one program I will discuss. So let us discuss about the syntax. Then we'll see. You have to provide your own class name. What like arithmetic exception? You have to provide your own class name. But as it will follow all the properties as a exception class, so it has to inherit the parent class that is your exception. Okay. So why it will inherit exception? That we'll see through the example. But ex Uh, this is how you write class my exception or any name you can provide extends exception so that this can be your user defined exception okay so one example i will discuss suppose you design or you are given a task to design one application for voting okay as we all know that voting is allowed only when you are above 18 years of age okay so whenever anyone will come for voting they will enter their age okay so if the age is greater than 18 then they will be allowed for voting if the age is less than 18 then exception will be generated okay and that exception will be my custom exception or the user in its application will write down some code so that one exception or error message will be given to the user very simple application but we will not take the help of any predefined exception class we will write use our own exception class okay so let's write down the example okay so let we'll start from the main method clear yeah? let's understand this one so i am asking the user to enter your age okay so the user is entering the age suppose age is 25 clear i am calling a method which is validate and i am passing the value 25 okay so whenever i am calling without anything directly by the name so you can understand it's a static method okay so now i am at the method body of validate okay so whenever i have called validate control will come here what is my age i have passed 25 okay it will check 25 is less than 18 false so it will come welcome to vote so one message will be given to the user welcome to vote okay and once that method will be over again the finally block will execute the message will be given thank you for your effort okay so if my age whatever i have entered is greater than 18 so this is what the step welcome to vote and thank you for your effort clear now we will come to the second approach that means while entering the age if i am entering the age as 17 okay so age value is 17 whatever i am passing through the validate method okay So seventeen is will be here. Seventeen less than eighteen. True or false? True. So now I'll throw the exception manually. You have seen the video of throw use of throw keyword. I'll create the object of the exception class. Okay. So here also I'm creating the exception class object. But this my exception is a custom exception. It is not a predefined exception. This exception class. belongs to the user okay so i am calling the object or i am throwing the object of 
custom exception class okay how it will be done let's see so this is how i have defined my custom exception class class any name you can provide but it has to extend the exception class so that the functionalities of exception can be applied to the user defined exception or to the custom exception okay so whenever i am throwing it and all of you know whenever object is created automatically the constructor will be called so whenever i am throwing the exception this value will be copied here okay so st will contain invalid okay now that i am assigning to my variable str so str is currently containing the value invalid okay so whenever i am throwing the exception that means exception is generated but also through the video of throws keyword you have seen that if any method doesn't want to handle the exception it will propagate so through for the propagation it will use the keyword throws so what is the use of throws throws means it will aware the parent class method or the caller that exception has generated so who has called validate method the main method has called so because of propagation main method will be aware about that my exception type exception is now generated inside validate method which you have to handle okay so instantly i will write down one catch block where i am handling using the same class name what kind of exception i am throwing okay and to the object clear i will write down exception occurred okay along with exception occurred i'll print value ob so while printing ob what it will print it will print this particular value okay total message as age is less than 18 so cannot vote and print the value of str means invalid so whenever ob or the exception class object you are printing it is calling to the two string method of its corresponding exception class like i am printing the value object of arithmetic exception class so it will call to the two string method of arithmetic exception class if i am printing the object of null pointer exception then it will call the two string method of null pointer exception class okay so two string is a method belongs to object class which is the parent class of all so everyone is inheriting the object class so throwable class is inheriting object class exception class is inheriting throwable class my exception class is inheriting exception class to get two string okay so i have to override the two string method whose return type is string means whenever i'll call the print the object automatically the two string method will be called okay automatically the two string method will be called and the work of two string it will return the entire string message because the return type i have set as string and it is used as public by default because someone is calling from outside okay understood so let us discuss once again inside the main method i am entering the age i am calling the validate method and passing the age okay validate method knows that one kind of exception of my exception class will be generated but i will not catch the exception that's why throws keyword is used so that it will be propagated to the main method and main method will handle the exception generated on behalf of my exception class okay so here i am taking the condition if my age is less than 18 i am throwing the exception manually and creating the object of my exception class which is my custom exception class okay and to define that it is a exception class so i have to inherit exception class okay so whenever i am throwing i am passing one value it will be assigned to the str variable of the custom exception class okay while throwing i'll catch so the catch block will handle the exception by using the same class name custom exception class name 
and while printing the object automatically the two string method of the corresponding exception class will be called whose work is to return the entire string okay so two string method is overridden inside my custom exception class which is overridden in every exception class present under exception class okay so let's compile and execute this one done it is asking for age so i have entered it 35 welcome to board thank you for your effort okay so that means no exception is generated but whenever i am entering 15 See, exception occurred. First of all, what the message here? Exception is caught. Exception occurred. Okay. Still, I am getting a lot of messages. So, what is that message? Ob. What is ob? Now, while printing ob, the two string method will be called here. As age is less than eighteen, so cannot vote. This message is coming. So, cannot vote. Okay. After that, str. Where str is getting? So, while throwing the exception, I am passing the value to the constructor and assign the value to str so that also be printed in value okay and thank you for your effort okay so this is what the details of how the custom exception can be defined by using exception class okay so that the user can put their own idea to generate the user defined exception okay so this is one of the very important concept of exception handling how to generate user defined or custom exception okay so thank you everyone for watching this video okay